Aloha, I'm Terry Lilly, a marine biologist here in the Hawaiian Islands. I hope you enjoy my film. On this dive, we're going to take you to Canoes Beach near the town of Lahaina in Maui. This is an incredibly beautiful shore dive and a very healthy coral reef. This side of the island of Maui doesn't get as much surf. It's also quite dry, so there's not much rain off from the mountains. This keeps the reef very pristine and beautiful. As you can see in these beautiful movies, there are a dozen different types of corals that you can see here that are very, very abundant. Mound corals, cauliflower corals, and of course, the honu, the sea turtle, that frequents this area and sleeps in the cracks in between the corals. The water here, again, is normally crystal clear, so it's almost like there's no water at all. You can fly slowly with these turtles right over the top of the reef. It's a shallow reef, only from maybe 5 to 40 feet deep, and then it goes out to the sand after that. It's a wonderful spot to snorkel. You don't have to scuba dive here to see all the beautiful creatures in marine life at canoes. These turtles eat the seaweed that grows on the sand outside of the reef. It's really fascinating. It's a whole forest of this seagrass. The turtles are quite used to people here so you can go and take a close-up video of them without disturbing them. What was interesting in this video, when Pam and I were out, we were one was on one side of the turtle and one on the other. I was taking video and Pam pictures. Well, we noticed it was eating lots of sand along with the eelgrass. And then, as it's chewing up the eelgrass, it's actually snorting the sand out of its nostrils. I've spent a lot of times with turtles underwater watching them, but I've never seen this happen before. This turtle has a smorgasbord of food out there to eat. This grass is growing all over the place, just a little bit beyond the edge of the reef. Lots of beautiful invertebrates at canoes. This is called a pincushion star. This is about a foot across. You have the shrimp, like this banded cleaner shrimp. This is a moray eel that comes out in the daytime, called a snowflake moray. Big schools of fish, like these mamo, the sergeant fish, veke, the goat fish, swim right over the top of the reef at only 10 to 15 feet deep. It's quite a magical place with these bright red pencil urchins that dot the reef. Sometimes you can see 10 or 20 at one given time and each one is a little bit different color. These urchins aren't sharp. The spines are very dull and they won't poke you if you accidentally put your hand on one. But there's just dozens and dozens of them almost everywhere you look and they really stand out with the super bright red colors. Canoes is a very safe place to do a shore dive unlike many other places in the Hawaiian Islands. There's very little surf here. Sometimes in the summertime the swell comes up, so you always want to check with the lifeguards and the professional dive companies in the area to know when it's safe to dive. On this dive, Pam and I were out by ourselves, didn't see any other people at all, which was absolutely wonderful. That doesn't occur in many places in the Hawaiian Islands or anywhere in the world for that matter now. Here you can basically just find your own dive site, go out and enjoy yourself and be safe and see a good array of marine life. Hawaiians a hundred to a thousand years ago actually used to write with the dried out spines of these pencil urchins. That's how they got the name pencil urchin because you can actually write with one. It doesn't write very well, but it gets the job done.
It's somewhat magical when the water is clear and you can swim or dive through a school of a thousand fish. These veke are goatfish just floating lazily on the current. They normally feed on the bottom here on the sand and they eat little crustaceans and shrimp. We came upon a school of cuttlefish, this type of squid that lives here in Hawaii. These creatures actually are incredibly intelligent. They move with the school, they watch you with these big eyes, and they all change colors at the same time. They can go from purple to silver to yellow within a second. They're actually all swimming backwards and looking right into the camera. I think they're very inquisitive as to what this weird creature is under the water holding this big yellow camera. Thank you for watching. As you may know, Hawaii's coral reefs are under duress. The north coast of the island of Kauai is currently being ravaged by an unprecedented disease. If you would like to learn more or get involved, please visit our website at underwater2web.com.